Hi guys, it's Nixie. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little snake. So in this pot here I've got Glam and Glitz Janet and I've mixed in some very fine red holographic glitter. Janet's good for this because it's slightly translucent so the glitter shows through really well but you still get the colour. So I'm just going to take a fairly large dry bead and I'm going to spread it out on some baking paper. I do have a silicone mat for this as well but I find this less clean up uh, with the baking paper and it just is great, nothing sticks to it. So I'm just going to sort of try and, <laughs> it's a bit of like a squash snake at the moment. So I'm just going to play with it and just try and get it into shape. You can see where the surface shine there is just slightly starting to mattify, that means it's setting. So I'm just going to keep sort of pushing it into place, stretching it out, um, keeping my brush well soaked in the monomer as well to stop it sticking to the acrylic. Obviously I've sped it up a little bit. Um, the dot and tool is good for using this, I'm so doing this part as well. I'm just pushing it into shape. slide it under to pick it up and then sometimes it's easy just to use your fingers so I'm pushing that into shape on the nail. The warmth of my fingers also helps it set slightly as well so it helps keep it in place. And then we use a dotting tool. The um, acrylic at the moment is still quite pliable and still quite stretchy so I'm just going to try and just neaten it up a little bit. anyway. <laughs> Hasn't shown up very well in the video but it did sort of leave some pink stains on the white gel polish so load in a detailer brush up with, as you know, Telelight, it's my 3D acrylic brush. Um, loading that up with one bow, you can just clean up the sides and then I'm just gonna try and make the snake's head a bit more snake head shaped. And I'm going to do the same to the tail as well. Any time now. <laughs> there we go. Just to get it, it's quite a nice sharp point. So this brush is my 3D art acrylic brush from the Nail Tech Network. And I love it. I use it for everything. Poor little thing is so battered now. But it's really fab. I'm really good at doing sort of smaller acrylic work like this one. I think it's probably about size number four off the top of my head. So now I'm using my 7mm detailing brush, which is also from the Nail Tech Network. And I'll put links in the description box for that as well. And I'm just painting on some white stripes. The polish I'm using is between the sheets by One Love Nails and it's fab. I normally stick to my No Nails Brilliant White uh, gel pots but this is my, probably my new favourite actually. And then my semi lac semi art black gel paint I think. I should really write down the name before I start but there we go. So quick. stripes on either side of the white. So I'm using One Love Nails again, so this is the no white top coat and it's on its side because it's running out. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna redo the white, I'm just gonna glaze the snake, just make sure I get it in all the sides there. And then cure that for 30 seconds. So the last little step, it's got these tiny, tiny little rhinestones. 
about the size of sesame seeds and my Piara Sky Dip Essential Base, which is the best thing ever for putting on gemstones. my crystal ninja tanto and oh didn't like that one apparently so <laughs> let's perfect so it's quite a quick video today but I hope it gave you all the info you need and you found it quite informative so good luck and I'd love to see your designs